Hey guys, the video you're about to see is disappointing. I work on a, on a, on a machine and I end up not being able to fix it. So, if you want a happy ending, this isn't going to be it. But even, even still, maybe there's something instructive that we can all learn from this. Hello, my good friends, and welcome. I'm Buck Weezer. You've tuned to Buck's Small Engine DIY on YouTube, where we put the do into do-it-yourself. And I've got up here on the workbench a backpack blower, just a little guy, made by Echo. It's the model PB265L. And this was brought to me, it belongs to a friend of a friend. And I agreed to look at it. It doesn't start or run. And, uh... I agreed to look at it, but I told them I can't put a lot of time into it. I, I, I don't enjoy working on these smaller two-stroke motors, especially the ones that are made these days, which are, you know, generally disposable. You know, Echo, I thought, was typically a, a decent um, brand, but I don't even know anymore. You know, everybody's trying to cut corners, and uh, but I agreed to look at it because it belongs to a friend of a friend. So let's get started and see what we can do, and maybe we can get it back up and running. I don't know. Well, let's find out if it actually does start or not. But I'm going to dump out the fuel that's in here. I don't know anything about this fuel. Hopefully it is the, uh, the gas-oil mix, as is appropriate for this guy. Gas plus oil. All right, we're going to add some fresh, and then we'll give it a try. Right, that should do. Now, I did find out that the guy who owns this, he had, uh, on his own, attempted to get it running by replacing this carburetor. This looks to me to be one of the inexpensive aftermarket made in China replacement carburetors. It's purging all right, that's, that's good. I also see this spark plug. You know, you buy those carburetor kits and they come with some very inexpensive... This plug has never been fired. That's as, that's as clean and unused as can be. And I don't have a lot of confidence in these cheap spark plugs. And it wasn't even tightened in there. I just kind of hand tight. But now you know what I know. We're going to see if it'll fire up. All right, so choke it. Press the primer a few times. Here's our, here's our throttle control, which also has the uh, off full. Let's put it halfway just for fun. I don't see the starting instructions listed on here anywhere, and I don't have the tube. Uh, that shouldn't matter for our purposes, right? All right, so let's see what we got. Let's get a full throttle. All right, nary a pop. Nary a pop. All right, before I go any further, I'm gonna put my compression tester on this. That's what I like to do because I don't wanna go any further. I can feel it's got, seems to have compression just by the resistance I feel on this pull rope, but I'm gonna use my compression tester and I'm gonna do that before we go any further. All right. We'll thread this compression tester into the spark plug hole. Like that. And we'll connect this guy. I 
and there's our there's our gauge so I'm just gonna pull the starter rope 10 15 20 times whatever to see how far up that guy wants to climb I don't know if you can see it Well, that's 20 pulls, and we're looking at compression uh, 130. Okay, to me, that's good. That's good reading. Um, probably wouldn't work. I wouldn't mess with this if it was reading anything less than 100. But 125, 135, this should, uh, this has compression enough to run. So that's not the issue. Next, we're going to check for spark. I'm going to use the wrench to tighten that spark plug in there a little bit. And I want to use this Harbor Freight Tools inline spark tester, which we'll put between the spark plug boot and the spark plug itself. And then we'll pull that starter rope a few times to see if the test the tester lights up. And hopefully we'll be able to see that. And I don't know if you can see it, but it definitely lights up. So we should be getting spark. Well, that doesn't mean the spark plug itself is good, so let's check that next. Alright, hopefully this will make sense what I'm going to try to do. This is spark plug that came with it. I'm going to use this blue lead with the alligator clips and I've connected the one down here on the ground screw where the kill wire connects so that should be grounded to the engine and I'm going to connect the other end onto the uh, end probe there and now I'm just going to pull this and see if we get any visible spark jumping that gap. I don't know if it's going to be real clear to you or to me, but we're going to try. I don't know if you can see it, but I can. It's jumping that gap, so I do see the spark there. So. This thing's got a spark plug that works, or it at least appears to be. Um, it's not under compression, but... Uh, so, I think we're getting spark. We have compression. And uh, I guess we've got to talk about fuel, because for some reason it, it doesn't want to start. Alright, I took a moment and then took down this carburetor. I just want to see the carburetor replacement job and <clears throat> see if that looks okay. And I think it does. Uh, I also removed this little plate from in front of the choke <coughs> that holds on the, uh, the uh, air cleaner cover only because I want to try something. I want to just see if this guy will pop. We'll spray a little bit of starting fluid, a little bit of ether, just a little bit, see if it'll pop on that real quick. I don't want to run it on that, but a small little bit just to see if it'll pop will be okay. So let's give that a try and see if it wants to <coughs> start for us under those circumstances. All right, let's try that. I didn't sense anything popping there, did you? This seems to be in the right position. Not short grounding it out anywhere, right? We had spark. Let's try that again. Just a little bit, just a little bit.
negative. I did something just now I've never tried before. I, uh, I took the muffler off. And I took this plastic shroud off and the starter off and I got access to the muffler. It's very heavy. It feels like it's saturated with stuff. And when I shine my light in here, which you can't see, and spin the engine by hand, I see... I see, I see like fuel making it out through the exhaust side. I don't know what that means. But I thought, I'm going to see if this will start without a muffler. And for what it's worth, we'll see what happens. Nary a pop. All right, I'm gonna try to let you see what I see when I turn this by hand. So the muffler's off. I'm just gonna turn the engine by hand. I'm gonna zoom in on there. We're gonna get some light in there. Can you see that? So you can see the piston going up and down in there. There's the top. And you see that, all that fuel in there? All that fuel is making its way past the uh, ring. There's only, I see only one ring on that piston. You see all that fuel? See it bubbling up in there? I don't know if that's right or not. I don't think it is. See that fuel? So I I think the uh, the ring or rings on this piston are just shot, and this thing turns so easy right now. I know we had compression when we tested it. But I'm afraid this little engine is just junk. And it's not gonna it's not gonna run. And I'm not gonna take it apart and try to fix it. Because it's just not worth it on this small equipment. Well I'm gonna put it back together and return it to the customer. Nothing else I can do. Well, that's all the time I'm putting into this. I don't know, maybe at the beginning of the video you could tell I was a little skeptical. And I, uh, <clears throat> I'm not an expert on these two-stroke motors. Um, but this one, to me, is just very disappointing. It's got compression. It has spark. I don't think there's anything wrong with the carburetor. I think there's something internal in that engine with that, with that uh, piston or cylinder or the ring on the piston. But I'm not, nobody's going to mess with that for this, this inexpensive little handheld item. And it's disappointing to me. Um, I think this is the kind of reason that, that consumers are buying battery-powered stuff. Because these kinds of machines, like we looked at today, are uh, not made to a very high standard anymore. And it's very disappointing. All right, well, you know what I know. You saw what I saw. Your comments and questions, of course, are always appreciated. It's a stupid video. Maybe I won't even post it. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe there's something we can all learn from this. But if you got some thoughts, hit me up in the comments. I always appreciate that and look forward to interacting with you. If you want to do that, uh, they can't all be winners, right? It's Buck Weezer signing off saying, remember guys, only you can try to put the do in the do-it-yourself. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. See you next time.